Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing today. Today is a day where a new Pokemon game comes out and it's on the 3DS and the 3DS's have unimpressive boxes. So I usually skip unboxing 3DS or Switch games if they don't come with anything. And Ultra Sun Ultra Moon don't unless we get a steelbook. And for my gather that's even that even that's boring. But in this bag here, I bought accessories for the game, and those I think make this worth an unboxing. It may be a short video, but Still an unboxing. First, let's get out the Z Ring, which is the Ultra Sun Ultra Moon version of the ring from the other game. You'll open it up in a bit because we have these crystals that go with it. Two different sets of crystals. But first, let's start off with. Well, not quite the game, uh, this thing, not thing, it's cute, it's lovely, I love it. Problem is, I have a suspicion that I think someone who likes to buy me cute stuff for Christmas, like anyone in on my list, I think she may have already got me this, and because I have to return this, sadly, I have to return this lovely, lovely thing I used to hate, and now I like. Briony still sucks though, and Puprio still has a big nose, but this is gorgeous. But anyways, now I have to return that, but here's the game. The US version at least. Let's go, it says. And according to something that just came out today, the Pokemon Bank compatibility isn't going to be available until later this month. Which is still stupid because they'll make enough of Sapphire despite them being Sonic of 6 levels of quality. They had a Pokemon Bank on day 1. But at the very least it's not December and it's only a week or two away. So it can be reasonable. I could directly shelve this game until the time for Bank Update comes. Don't know if I'm going to do that though. I have a backlog but I don't know if I want to put this away for that long. If my all my friends are playing it I think I may just play it anyway. And plus you can trade with Sun and Moon, so I can just use that as a way to transfer Pokemon early. So hey, there's a workaround, unlike the Generation 1 and 2 games. But I don't, I don't mind waiting a bit for transferring Silver Pokemon over because I'm still playing that game to get Pokédex done. But let us open this up. Just pop the C open. See the front. And then you just simply undo the plastic. And presto, you're done. The game's done, and there's no manual, of course. Just a digital manual guide. And here's the game cartridge, which looks... pretty much similar to the first Moon game. Now it has a, f a wet spine on it, instead of the gray spines of the past, which I think kind of crashed the earlier 3DS games, and the logo not logo, the icon looks a lot nicer. So overall, I guess I should give my impressions of the game. I kind of expected something like this to happen, but I thought it would be on the Nintendo Switch instead of the 3DS, because it would be a quick port job, ish, quick ish port job. But it turns out they didn't get dev kits until, well, everyone else did, so because that they can't, they just used the, made a test of the engine from what it seems. And the actual Pokemon Switch game isn't coming out until next year, and I hope in 2019, because if they release it next year, it's going to be like X and Y all over again, I worry, and I don't want that. I want a good quality Pokemon game. And even though Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon may want Leah, it sounds like they actually are good games, because they are made by younger staff members, and they seem to well, lose fixed problems with the original games. But yeah, let's move on to the actual stuff to unbox, the Z-Crystals and the Z-Wing with Poopy Mimikyu, which is one of the dumbest Pokemon in the generation because look at its eyes. So let yeah, the Z-Crystals, look on the back. It's sound based, so you just pop it in and it activates, so we just open it up. Or, ooh. These things hold it in, these plastic things, so I can't just whip it off like I do with an amiibo. Well, I could, it just takes a while. Hold on.
Here are the free seed crystals. And now I open the next set. Oh, hey, on the cardboard bit, there's Luna Arda in the background. Just her, but still neat. And it's the same for this, you can barely see it, but no Solgalo, or Solgalio, how do you pronounce it? So yeah, the fact there's a workaround for Pokemon Bank makes me not really too upset, it's just a little bit of a delay. But it was like till January, I probably won't even play the game till then, because I don't condone such stupid fake padding. Like the Pokemon Bank delay for the original Sun and Moon, that was fake padding, because you couldn't complete the Pokédex as fast, and even though there's no national decks, it was still fake padding out the game, so you'd play for more than one month. But at least you'll gain it reasonably done, even though, as I said, it should be day one, no excuses. But hey, at least that's what trading's for. Alright, all these crystals are out. I can't really tell which one's which. I do know this one's the normal one. Yeah, let's open this box. The fancy new one. Just op gotta open this. I think yeah, there's tape at the top. So open this like open it like this, I assume. Rip it off. Get sticky of it. And then just Ooh, there's something at the bottom. More than one thing at the bottom. Probably because this is a Tommy toy and they have to advertise their other things. Yeah, they're advertising the other toys. Oh, that was a lot. I know they had plushies, but I didn't know they had this much. Oh, it's a poster for their stuff, like they used to have for Jack Pacific. I miss that company, but Tommy's okay. Advertisement for all the figurine toys. Espeon, and we are Mewtwo, Luna Arda, Sora Gale, Steven Universe, Snorlax, the whole bunch. Oh, and Dale's here for some reason. I don't know why that Pokemon's there, but at least he's not wet. If he's wet, I'd be scared of him. More plush toys? No, they aren't plush toys. They're yeah, it's just individual descriptions of all the toys we saw in the front. I thought this was a push toys because of how softish they looked. Realistic? I don't know how to explain it, but they look like push toys in one instance. So that was weird. Now fold this back together somehow. Okay, there we go. I'll put it there. And I think this is just the instructions on how they'll get looking for. Pokemon Ultra Sun, Moon, Soliel, Luna, Son, Mond, Sol, Luna, Sol, Luna. Because there's a gazillion different languages. Basically, it just tells you how to put in batteries. Mimikyu's there somehow. So, yeah, let's open this up because this unboxing is getting a bit dragged out. Crystal out, or Z Power Crystal, as they are now known, because they are different than this. They have spines on the end. I didn't get the original Z Crystal because I thought it was gimmicky, but now I'm in the Power Rangers mood. I think it looks make me the cool. Finally, jeez, I was, I was gonna break it. Oh yeah, never plastic thing. Okay, that was easy to take off. And here's a Z Power Crystal. Will you insert it? And. You can test it here. Oh, the problem, I don't know which one's which. I think this is Necrozma because it has the gold color of the Necrozma final form, and this is Mimipoop's crystal. Um, so let's undo it somehow. Oh, you can hold other crystals here, so let's just slot in some crystals, I think. Actually, let's just slot in one of these new crystals. If I think you could. Oh, 
Oh, I probably do need to read instructions to figure out how I'm enough to work this. Uh, okay, that's how you remove the crystal. From one side, it still changed the other. Yeah, I got a weedy manual, so we should do that quick. Oh boy, I haven't done one that in those in ages. Jeez, it's a toy. Speaking of toy, if it doesn't fit me, that's also kind of a problem. Aha! Uh, looks kind of dumb, but it fits. Actually, yeah, this kind of sucks. I think I'm too big for this. God damn it! How did how did someone older than me? I saw someone older than me at the Pokemon movie theater wear the uh, smaller version of this, and he was like the same height as me. His arm was just as big. <laughs> Hold the phone, because I actually got this thing to fit on me. It turns out you, all you had to do was just... Uh, depending on what side. No, not that. Yeah, you just had a whip pull up in the little parts on the side, and it would fit anyone. That's the... That's how you get it to fit any size. So yeah, now I have this engine device of sorts. It's a little silly toy, but hey, it was something neat I wanted, and now it works, so now we can end this unboxing on a happy note. So yeah, thanks for watching this unboxing, you know it's hard for me to put my hand on the table now, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Sorry this was so awkward and weird, but hey, I blame Mimic Poop.